Well, we're thank putting the tourism industry under the spotlight today. TEP, a big investor in growth and expansion in the sector. First up, though, take us through the state of the sector from your perspective and the growth that we're actually seeing flow through. Okay, uh, th thank you very much. Thank you for inviting us to uh, speak to your viewers today. Um, uh, the tourism industry um, in this country is uh, experiencing some kind of uh, a lull as, as, as we speak, and uh, understandably so. Uh, but uh, generally, uh, we have enjoyed uh, um, tremendous growth in the tourism industry. If you were to basically take a, a perspective, say, back from uh, 1994, uh, uh, with the, the democratic elections to, uh, to today. Mm -hmm. um, I believe if my statistics are, are correct, uh, in 1994 when uh, the uh, democratic government was elected into power, we were receiving something like 630,000 in, uh, tourists into, into the country. And today uh, we are easily uh, topping the 10 million uh, tourists uh, per, per, per annum, mm -hmm. which basically shows you that uh, the industry has grown uh, tremendously. Uh, when you look at uh, the various sectors uh, or subsectors that uh, constitute uh, the tourism industry, um, if you take accommodation, for instance, uh, I remember back in uh, 1994, 1995, there were only very few international hotels in this country. But today, you just look around uh, the yeah. snow that we are sitting uh, in. Uh, a number of international tourism um, uh, chains, hotel chains, have come into the country and uh, they are contributing to growing uh, the sector and making the capacity uh, available. The World Cup that we yeah. concluded in 2010 has given us uh, another boost in terms of branding the country as uh, a tourism destination. And uh, we are not uh, really seeing the full benefits of uh, 2010 yet, uh, mm -hmm. but it's only a matter of time. This being the scenario that you step into where TEP utilizes funding from corporate South Africa and government as well to facilitate the growth and development of small tourism businesses in the country. Just how much interest are you being able to garner right now in terms of funding? Because it's all good us having seen the growth over the past decade or so. But, uh, you know, as you said, we are sitting in what is a lull period at this stage. Yes, indeed. Uh, but regardless of uh, the, the period that we are sitting in, uh, TEP uh, was established by business trusts together with government uh, and TEP has been going on for the last uh, 10 years. Mm -hmm. We have invested 450 million rand into developing tourism uh, small business uh, um, entities and our mandate essentially was uh, uh, to create jobs, uh, contribute to the national GDP uh, and ensure the sustainability mm -hmm. of small tourism entities. With that 450 million, uh, we have been able to support 4,000 tourism entities, uh, which have been able to create 64,000 job opportunities uh, out, out there. And they have contributed an incremental revenue of 5 billion rand uh, into uh, the, national, the national economy. So we're talking about uh, serious stuff here. Yeah. And uh, TEP being um, a good example of a public-private partnership, uh, we have uh, basically now decided to really facilitate the processes for uh, corporate South Africa to come into the equation and participate in uh, creating jobs and so on and so forth. Of course, a key for corporate South Africa investing and delving into this space will be an emphasis on sustainability of these businesses moving forward. So when it comes to that, just how much handholding does TEP do uh, to, you know, to support these businesses beyond just providing them with capital to get going? Uh, we we actually do not provide them with capital per se. Uh, our, our assistance is non-financial. Uh, we operate, uh, we implement a graduation program, uh, which is a combination of uh, training uh, programs, skills training, uh, mentorship, business development, um, and uh, assisting small businesses to attend um, uh, tourism shows like INDABA, mm -hmm. WTM, ITB in Berlin, uh, and, uh, and the like. And the way we are involving corporate South Africa into uh, our work essentially is that we have developed uh, an instrument or a tool that we call uh, EDP, to, uh, Enterprise Development Portfolio, which takes from uh, the BE codes. Uh, one of the elements uh, in the BE codes is enterprise development, which uh, 
uh, says that uh, corporates can invest up to 3% of their after-tax profits mm -hmm. uh, towards enterprise development. But the reality is that uh, a lot of corporate, uh, corporations do not have the wherewithal to implement uh, uh, enterprise development and they're looking for perhaps what I term a turnkey solution uh, in which uh, they have uh, confidence and uh, which uh, in their mind will allow them to achieve their enterprise development yeah. mandate and TEP has turned out to be that, uh, that partner. So we have been able to sign up a number of uh, corporates uh, w within our value chain and uh, with, uh, within other value chains as well. Mm -hmm. And currently we are looking at uh, the financial services sector, we are looking at the mining sector, and we have a number of uh, partners who are willing uh, to, to, to come on so board. So while you've got that pipeline going, uh, what is it actually feeding into? Because one would assume that skills development plays a critical part where you've got to you know, um, grow that skills capacity in order to take the sector forward as well. Correct. And uh, that's exactly how we use uh, corporate, uh, corporate money uh, to basically develop skills, uh, grow uh, the, 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 the skill base, provide mentorship, uh, provide market access, uh, and allow companies to uh, really uh, acquire those skills that they need in order to grow and mm -hmm. and uh, become sustainable. Over and above just leveraging off the World Cup 2010 and you know the kind of uh, uh, the kind of label it's given South Africa uh, within the tourism space. There's also a bid to to provide an alternative face to the traditional tourism experience in South Africa. How so? What exactly are we looking at? And, and that's really where TEP comes in. Uh, um, tour, South African tourism is dominated by well-established players who have been uh, around for, for, for many years. Uh, one of uh, the mandates of TEP is to play a transformational role. And by transformational role, I'm basically saying that uh, uh, TEP should facilitate the uh, entrance of uh, new players. Uh, and that's exactly what, what, what we do. We take small enterprises, we provide them with training to make them not only uh, competitive domestically, but also internationally. We have um, a brand that we call uh, SA Hidden Treasures. And these are uh, members of TEP uh, that uh, have shown tremendous uh, potential that uh, needed uh, to be packaged and exposed to the International Tourism Channel as well as the National Tourism Channel for, mm -hmm. for, 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 for that matter. Um, a number, uh, you know, 164 of them are currently uh, being marketed under that, uh, that, that brand. Uh, and uh, we are also saying that uh, given the tough times that uh, the economy is going through, uh, some of these uh, uh, TEP members yeah. can be a good alternative uh, as a tourism product choice for, for, for people who are uh, budget conscious. Of course, you've taken us through the track record that you've had over the past decade, initiatives that are underway, some of the goals that you've still got in mind. What, is some of the, uh, what are some of the biggest challenges you face in actually getting this uh, going and uh, sailing smoothly? The, 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 the biggest challenge, again, is market access. Uh, you can train a small entrepreneur all you want. Uh, you can, in fact, put them through an MBA, fully-fledged MBA program, as long as they don't get business, as long as their products or their services are not, uh, uh, are, are not bought. Uh, they are not going to develop. They are not going to become sustainable. So the issue for us is how do we make sure that uh, our members do get their fair share of the tourism market? Mm -hmm. uh, and that we are trying to address that by going into strategic partnerships with uh, people who do control the, 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 the tourism channel. So tour operators, big established tour operators, for instance, we talk to them in terms of uh, getting them to uh, package some of our members and make them part and parcel of uh, uh, the product offering uh, yeah. that, uh, that they have. And by and large, uh, we are making uh, a stride and uh, hopefully we will be able to create market access through that initiative.